You know, at the parades, so if you stay till the end of the parade, do you remember what you see? You get to see a fire truck. So today I'm going to read about Pete the Cat, the firefighter Pete. Okay. Pete the Cat, firefighter Pete. If you have the book, you can read along. We are going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow bus. Everyone climbs on board. I wonder where we're going, says Pete. They are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. The firehouse is huge. It's so big, it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters' equipment. Turn the page. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Whee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on their gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into the tall boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All of this gear is very heavy and Pete can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. It's so loud that all of the kids cover their ears. Ooh, look, stickers. Then Pete turns on the sirens and the lights. The sirens blare. The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Uh-oh, it's the real fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The firefighters scramble into their gear very, very quickly. Pete puts on his gear, too. They all climb aboard the fire truck and turn on the siren and the lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. The fire engine races through town and the lights flash round and around. A firefighter presses the horn. All the other cars move out of the way. There's a fire. It's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. Then the firefighters also attach a long, heavy hose to the truck. Firefighter Pete gives the signal and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps direct the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starting to go out. There is smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. <gasps> What's on the roof? Do you see it? Oh no, it's Grumpy Toad. He needs to be rescued. The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank. The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay, the fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They all take off their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Good job, Pete. Uh, firefighter Pete helps save the day. The end. If you go visit a firehouse, I bet you won't be asked to put out a fire. But it sure is fun to learn what they do. Bye.